There are two variants of the Airbus A350, the 900 and also the 1000. Now this video won't necessarily be speaking about the uses of those two particular variants, but we will be exploring one variant of the A350 that didn't make it to the production line. But in order to understand the journey of this particular variant, we have to travel all the way back to 2010. You see, Airbus decided to develop the A350-800 in order to avoid a specific development and increase its payload. But this unfortunately led to a fuel burn penalty. It was designed to supplement the Airbus A330-200 and the company decided to decrease its weight of the 800 as development continued, which should have been around airframe 20. It could have had a capacity of 276 passengers in a 3-class configuration, while the 900 variant can seat between 300 and 350 passengers across the 3 classes, with the 1000 holding between 390. The planned range of the aircraft was also around 8000 nautical miles, and this represents a small advantage over the mid-sized 900, however, it does not match the capabilities of the larger 1000 variant. The reason why Airbus went down the route of the 800 was to give the airlines options that would best suit their needs. A shorter A350 would allow for greater range and increased efficiency at the cost of reduced capacity, around 50 seats less of the 900. The 800 had as many as 182 orders in the mid-2008. However, numbers shrank in subsequent years as Airbus saw more and more customers convert their orders to the larger 900 variant. Airbus revealed the A330neo at the 2014 Farnborough Air Show, and shortly after this, Airbus confirmed the cancellation of the A350-800. Having done so, the company tried to convince their customers with orders of the aircraft to switch to the larger 900 variant or the newly revealed A330neo. You see, the A330neo is a bridge guard for the next two generation aircraft, namely the A330-800 and the 900 variants. The program's cancellation meant that the A330-900 and the A330-800 would fill that space. Hawaiian Airlines first made the switch to the A330neo, but then they cancelled its order and made the switch to the 787 Dreamliner. While the orders reached 182 in the mid-2008, it diminished since 2010 as customers switched to the larger 900 variant as we've already mentioned. After launching the Airbus A330neo at the 2014 Farnborough Air Show, Airbus also dropped the A330-800. The CEO confirmed at the September 2014 press conference that the development of the 800 has been cancelled entirely. There were 16 orders left for the 800 since Yemeni has switched to the 900 and Hawaiian Airlines moved to the A330neo in December 2014. There were 8 for Aeroflot and 8 for Asiana Airlines, both also having orders for the 900. In January 2017, Aeroflot and Airbus announced the cancellation of its 800 order, leaving Asiana Airlines the only customer for the variant. And after many negotiations between Airbus and Asiana Airlines, the airline finally converted 8 of its A350-800 and 1 of the A350-1000 to the mid-size variant, the 900. So, at the end of the day, Airbus made the right decision. Their decision for the A330neo seems like a good choice. Many airlines around the world already operate the original A330-200 and the 300 variants. Training for the newer Neo versions would have been minimal compared to adopting the less established A350 into the airline's fleet. This also saved Airbus a huge amount of money, which otherwise would have been essentially wasted in fueling the A330neo and the A350-800 production line. The A330 family is already popular, so trying to overlap it with the 800 would have proven to be unbeneficial for the company. So captains, do let me know what you think regarding this in the comments below. Do you think Airbus made the right choice in cancelling the 800, or do you think they would have reaped the benefits had they gone forward with it? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys very soon.